Hi everyone, today we are going to cover how to do a data backup on your Norton Eye Control. From the home screen, select your tools configuration icon. From here, select your software disk. To initiate the process, select the check mark. You will see that there is a timer showing that the data is loading. Once the timer is gone, select the stop sign. Select the check mark. An important part of the data backup is shutting your system down. Your next message is going to ask how you want to log off the system. From here, you would select shut down system. Once the shutdown process is complete, a message will show that it is now safe to turn off your computer. To turn off your computer, turn the power switch off at the bottom of the eye control. Once you've powered off your eye control, open the cabinet and locate the computer. On the right side of the computer, there's a cover. Remove the cover. and select the disk located in slot 2. Eject this disk. This is your data backup. Place a date on it and place it in a secure location. Next you'll need to get a blank disk and place it in slot 2. We are completing a data backup on an iControl 2. However, the process is the same on a Generation 1 iControl. The cards are either in the back of the screen or in a card reader located on the door. Once you've inserted the blank disk, close the cabinet and boot up the eye control. Once you've booted your eye control, you may be prompted with a screen calibration setup. Hold your finger in the center of the target. You will have to complete this three times. Once this is complete, select Accept. Our next screen is the Disk Format screen. On the screen, we want to focus on the database backup files and the date and timestamp. If this is relevant with our recent backup that was completed, you want to continue to restore files from the last backup operation. The next message screen states the restoration of the backup files were completed successfully. Press continue to start the eye control. Once the software is booted up, you will need to log in with your username. Once you have logged in, you are ready to continue operations as normal.